Hey, sixth grade, here is your help video for 4.5.2 about graphing ratios. The first problem is about Takis. At the grocery store, two bags of Takis cost $6. Here it is in our table. Two bags, $6. All right, we need to complete this table to show the cost, and then we need to list them as ordered pairs and create that graph. Okay, so let's jump into it. Two bags cost $6. So the ordered pair for this problem is 2, 6. Oh, didn't expect that to happen. 2, 6. Parentheses. All right, so where did the 2 come from? 2, see the letter X above it? And 6, see the letter Y above it? And then we can see the X and the y. All right, let's go graph. We're looking on the x line for 2. So here's the x line. All right, I'm going to find the 2, and I'm going to go straight up. And then there's a y line. The y line is here. And I'm going to look for 6 and go straight across. And right where those two connect, it's where my dot is going to go. This is my first dot for my line. At this point, I also noticed that I should have some labels here. So let's go back to the table where it said X. It said number of bags. So on this line underneath, I need to put number of bags. And then heading back to the table, it says Y. And above the Y, it says cost in dollars. Then on this line, I put cost with the dollar sign. Cool. Let's make another dot on our graph. Now it says $9. Oof. All right, so I have to figure out how many it's going to, how many bags it's going to take to make, to cost $9. All right, I'm going to just draw a little bit of a table here. I think tacky bags are purple, if I'm right. All right, so the first line said two bags. So here's bag number one, and here's bag number two. Together, it equals $6. Well, if it's the same thing, I know that three and three make six, which means each bag must cost six. So if I want to get to $9, which is what the next line says, nine dollars then i need to add in another bag because three threes three plus three plus three is nine All right so how many bags did i draw i drew three so for that next line i now have three and nine so we'll write three comma nine and then parentheses and we'll put three comma nine into our graph. So three on the X line. Here's my X line. There's my three. So it'll go straight up from there. And the Y line, I remember it was nine. Three bags cost nine dollars. So I'll find the nine and go across. And where those dots connect, or where those lines connect, I'll put my next dot. Right. And then I need to make one more. So now it says four bags. Okay, well that's easy enough. Just going to literally copy and paste here. Copy and paste. There we go. Four bags, three plus three plus three plus three, or four threes is $12. So I need to put a 12 in my table. So this is four comma 12. Four and 12, separate with a comma, and then put that on the graph. This time I'm just going to move my lines. Here's line 4 for my X, and going up to 12 is here. Now I can put my dot. It is absolutely super important that you use a ruler. On my iPad in Notability, I can make it draw a straight line. So I'm going to just do that and not grab a ruler. It's really hard to use a ruler. Um, it's really hard to use a ruler on your iPad. Right, so I'm going to make it go all the way through. And then I'm going to make it go back all the way through, right? 
There we go. Here is a graph of that ratio. It goes off the grid. See how I drew that arrow? Because you could buy more than you could buy more than 14 bags if you wanted to, and it would cost more than $14. All right, we're going to answer the first question together, and then you need to answer the second question. The first question, how much would it cost to buy five bags? If we look at this graph and we find the number five, you'll see that we have a problem. Here's five, and we're going to go straight up. All right, looks like I need to move it over just a little bit. Do you see that? it hits the arrow off the graph. So I know it costs more than $14. So if I go back to this picture, I could put a fifth bag. I have to put it on this side, I think. Copy and paste. Yep, yeah, there we go. Five bags, cost $15. So now you need to answer the last question. If somebody had $20, how many bags could they buy? The next problem is about smoothies. You really need to pay a lot of attention to the labels here. This one says two cups of orange juice. Here's my orange juice. And this one says three cups of blueberries. Here's the blueberries. You'll need to do the ordered pair and fill in the graph and answer the questions. There's a challenge question here on the bottom. Don't forget to check your answers before you submit your work.